Hi, Kathy Hansen here, and I want to share a fun little project that you can do with watercolor pencils. I love watercolor pencils. Watercolor pencils, if they're artist grade, is the same as using tube or paint. Instead of squeezing the paint out of the tube, what you do is you draw on the piece of paper, and now you are depositing the pigment on the paper. I use Kimberly Watercolor Pencils by General Pencil because First of all, our artist grade. Second of all, I can make them light to bold. I'm not pigeonholed or boxed in. I can make very, very soft to very, very bold, and not all of them will do that. What I want to show you today is a fun, quick little faux finish, and then this one I turned into a small little tag on it and then stamped some shell designs on it and put a few embellishments on it. I am going to be working palette technique in the beginning, which is just like pan or tube and it's very very soft when I want my watercolor soft I will turn around and just activate oops got ahead of myself because I want all my colors to flow out it's just like watercolor I need the paper wet I am working with a one inch silver white brush from silver brush limited what I like about this brush is it holds so much water that I don't have to keep dipping my brush in to reload it. I actually can load my entire piece of paper with this brush. Now, real fast, I'm gonna take some yellow. Look, you never know that came off a pencil and not out of a tube of paint. I work off the chisel edge as well as the broad side of it, and I'm just laying some color in. I immediately go to the next color and do the same thing. Just a little different hue in it. And all those colors are effortlessly blending together by themselves. Now I went to terracotta. First color was yellow. The second color was yellow ochre. Now the one that I'm working in right now is terracotta. Can you see how these colors are just coming in? Now, I could have fully activated them even more, but I'm trying to work real fast. I'm in Vegas, and it is dry. So I have to work very, very fast. Now I'm going to grab some brown. Stroke that in a few spots. The water is blending those. This is like a faux marble effect. Now, I worked with it very soft palette technique. The next technique I'm going to show you is working with the pencil tip. When you work on wet paper, your lines are going to be bolder than if it was on dry paper. So the very first lines that I put in are going to be darker because it's wetter. As it starts to dry, the lines are going to get lighter. See how these lines are bolder and some of these are lighter. You're going to lay it down and like you've had too much coffee, lift up on that pressure and you're putting your lines in. Then the next thing I'm going to do is take a sanding block and I'm going to run it across the tip of the pencil in a few spots. And while the paper is still wet, you take the majority of the water out of the brush, kind of spread the hairs out a little bit, and you're going to diffuse some of it. The areas that I didn't want the color and the little speckles will blow off where I didn't touch it. Once it dries, it is totally permanent. And then you can turn around and stamp. I use gold ink on this one, but you can use any type of waterproof permanent ink on it. This makes great bags, tags, little cards, a great border on something. Subtle yet fun, interesting little effects within your design. Hope you enjoyed watching it and you try it yourself. Thanks.